Aguirre, The Wrath of God is a 1972 period drama film directed by famed German director Werner Herzog. Shot on location by an eight-person production crew in Peru, the film starred Klaus Kinski, who infamously clashed with the crew on set, even shooting off an extra's finger in a fit of rage. <laughs> Tapping into this primal nature, Herzog crafted the character of Aguirre, a semi-fictitious conquistador who usurps the Spanish crown he serves in a quest for power. Get away from that fool! Los Corinthians! Go! As a band of Europeans march through the dense riverways, they spiral into paranoia from inter-turmoil, as well as the appearance of native peoples in the periphery of the scenery. With the set pieces acting as a metaphor for the guerrilla tactics of the Vietnam War, Herzog used Aguirre as a means to display political commentary. Some attributed the West German picture as a metaphor for the rise of the recent Nazi party. You remember Hernando Cortes? Highlighting a handheld documentary style, Aguirre The Wrath of God stands out in film history for its depiction of South American wildlife, a flair for sudden and unexpected violence, and the perspective of native Amazonians. A nihilistic, sometimes anti-religious film that decries the folly of crowns, Aguirre somehow stands on its own right as an epic of disastrous proportions. It's not a boat. It's not a tree. This is no arrow. We only see arrows because we're afraid of them. Those arrows are real! Take cover! The Marriage of Maria Braun is another film of German New Age. Shot in 1978 by Rainer Werner Fassbinder, the picture deals with contemporary life in post-war Germany. Following the discerning split of Germany, the film throws Maria Braun in a state of flux with her presumed dead, then briefly incarcerated husband. Maria's morality shifts and grows ever more gray and complicated as she rises in wealth but becomes ultimately a worse person following the hardships of life that affects her. Maria's family apartment is wrecked. She's forced into prostitution, and at seemingly every turn, she's either losing, leaving, or literally killing her lovers. With an unpredictable plot, Fastbinder's film showcases the disillusionment with country and camaraderie in a turbulent era. The marriage of Maria Braun uses distinct camera movements and rapid-fire editing to excellent effect. Stapling itself as a cinematic achievement of feminist characters and the German New Wave as a whole, deep cinematography and layered writing bolster a visually miserable spectacle. This film, much like The Wrath of God, ultimately signals a gloomy, self-destructive attitude of humanity noting the ambivalence towards personal growth. Wim Wenders is a notable German director, hailed as a chief figure in the country's new wave. Wenders was largely influenced in his filmography by his time in America. While early road trip movies of his career were set place in the United States, Wenders returned to modern day Germany for 1987's Wings of Desire focusing on a group of invisible, angelic beings who wander the saddened streets of Berlin, Wings of Desire harken back to days of German Expressionism. Our protagonist helps individuals cope with loneliness, grief, and the fallout from larger hardships of the 20th century, specifically in West Germany. Even through the montages of pain and suffering, our protagonist decides to be human, that life is always worthwhile in the end. Though Wings of Desire technically follows the end of the German New Wave by a few years, it acts as a fitting epilogue to the era. 
Vendor's prose is that society can persevere past the trauma of World War II without failing to soak in the guilt of the German people. Every location seems somehow affected negatively by the world crafted from the fall of Hitler. German New Wave cinema consists of low-budget, high-aiming features which, at their best, examine the best and worst qualities of human life as a whole. The shadow of the Nazi party continued to follow the legacy of the German New Wave, but it was in the attitudes of the filmmakers, by downplaying the self-importance of those tyrants, that their history was cemented. The wrath of God. Who else is with me? Thank you. 